Today we're looking at the Fosse Audio BT20A. This is a Bluetooth um, stereo that has two channels and it's got a Class D integrated amp and it, it's rated at 100 watts by two channels. Now you can see here I've got this kind of in my um, cabinet here and I use this to actually power my outdoor speakers. And what I love about it is that it's very a small footprint and, and had I done a little more house cleaning, you know, it wouldn't be just this jumbled mess of wires and stuff you see back here. So maybe one of these days I'll get a little bit, a little bit more to it. But what's amazing about it is it's simple. You've got an on and off switch. And once you see the light on, you know it's working. You have a treble control, you have a bass control, and then you have the overall volume. And so this really allows me to kind of have the flexibility I need. If me and the kids are out back, we're going to crank up the bass, we're gonna rock out. If we've got some people over and we're having a party and we still wanna have a normal conversation, we might knock that bass out a little bit, that way it's not so hard to talk over. And then the cool thing about this is um, when you look at the back here, um, it's very, very, it's very easy um, to do this. You have on the left here, you've got your antenna, you've got your two speaker outputs, and then this right here is actually RCA inputs. And so where that's going to is our outdoor TV. So I'm able to run the outdoor TV uh, stereo signal through the headphone jack. I get it into the receiver, and then I'm able to put the TV playing on the outdoor speakers as well. Overall, I really love this amplifier. We've had it for over about two years now and it really just rocks out. It's got a low footprint, very easy to use, very easy to set up. If this is something you're looking for, I do highly recommend it. So in order to connect the Bluetooth, all you have to do is turn it on. Uh, that will get the Bluetooth signal up and running. You can then look at your phone or whatever device you're trying to connect and you should see some Fosse name device. Once you click on it, it will automatically connect and then you can start playing your music through it. And the final note here is that you do have this red light, that means it's playing through the aux, and then you have a blue light, which means it's connected to the Bluetooth. Essentially, when you turn it on, if it doesn't have a Bluetooth connection, it will default to the aux. If you connect Bluetooth, then Bluetooth will be default and the only way to get back to the aux will be by disconnecting your Bluetooth connection. I hope you found this video helpful. Like it, comment if you have any questions, I'll do my best to get those answered for you. And most importantly, just have a great day.